I know you are very curious to create project with Nux.js and yes we are going to do that but for that we need to understand about the views and the routing. So for a couple of videos we are going to learn about views and routing then we are going to create a real project with Nuxt. So views if you see on this home page of Nuxt yes we have these things and yeah we know this is coming from our pages and we have this index page where we have defined these things then we know that there is layout system which include all these header and sidebar kind of things which is here inside layout default and yeah we have all these things but you know every page at the root involve html file so where we have a html file to find the html file we need to go to dot nuxt directory inside that we are going to use this views directory and now we have two html file obviously this says error this means it is related to error but the app.template.html this is the exact html file where our nuxt or we can say our view is binded so you can simply see if you know about view in view to show the value of any variable we are going to use double curly braces this kind of syntax we generally use and that's how our overall application will go inside this html we have so this is nice but we know that every time we run npm dev or we run npm build it will create a new nux dot nux so suppose i want to add some script in this head tag so that i don't have to include it everywhere so i will simply say a script with the source and i will say script dot js simple so if i save this file you can see this is compiling and if I go and refresh this page, go to the page source, and suddenly we can see we have this script.js included in our head tag. And that's the cool part of having this. But what if I close this server and I rebuild? So let's see what's going to happen after rebuilding. So as soon as I compiled or run npm dev, you can see that a script tag is not available this is because every time i compile it will create fresh file inside this dot nuxt so how we can overwrite things if we want so nuxt provide a cool way of having that same template on our app so we just need to create a new file on our root directory so on our root directory i'm going to create app.html and i'm going to copy everything from our app.template.html and paste it and also this time i'm going to create a script with script.js so this script is now included in our custom app.html file and this html file is going to compile every time we run npm dev or we run npm build or generate but we have binded this thing or we can say we have overridden this app.template.html with our app.html file so i need to restart the server so i will say rs here at the bottom you can see rs for restart and yeah it is restarting the server and actually rebuilding everything and this time it will take app.html data and then it will push everything inside this so let's just wait and then we will see our script will be back on our view source of the home page so now we have recompiled and let's go here and refresh this page and now we can see we have this script but it is not inside head tag because i have mis uh, written this thing inside html so let's move inside head tag save this file as soon as save it will rebuild the changes let's refresh page and 
this time we will see this tag is now inside this head tag and that's exactly we want so this is how you can load your view or you can play with your view or we can say simple the root html file in the next episode we are going to talk about the layouts which is inside this and this file so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye